So it's not bad enough that we've got to put up with all the Greta Thunberg hype. Now they've come up with the alternative Greta, the anti-Greta. So where Thunberg is angry and pessimistic, like this... How dare you? You have stolen my dreams and my childhood with your empty words. Her antithesis, 19-year-old German Naomi Seipt, has worked out that we're not all about to die. I've got very good news for you. The world is not ending because of climate change. In fact, 12 years from now, we will still be around, casually taking photos on our iPhone 18s, tweeting about the current president on Twitter. Sype works for American conservative Heartland Institute and she pushes out her messages on YouTube, arguing for a calm and realistic approach to climate issues, reaching a much smaller audience than Greta Thunberg. We want to spread truth about the science behind climate realism, which is essentially the opposite of climate alarmism. I don't want you to panic. Now, of course, on social media, there's plenty of abuse for Naomi. There isn't actually very much real about Naomi. She's a media personality propped up by the merchants of doubt to help their clients continue to profit from polluting the planet, says one tweet. I see you've learned to wear lots of makeup, like all the good trumpets. I imagine your hair will be getting blonder as well, says another. But there are supporters too. Climate change is mythology and the biggest con of the modern age. There is no climate emergency, says this one, who doesn't really help Zipes push for climate realism rather than denial. But while I don't want to be told what to think by a teenage Greta, nor do I want to be lectured by a 19-year-old right-wing equivalent. Everyone's entitled to join the debate, of course, teenagers included, but they should stand or fall on their merits. This search for the next big teenage social media influencer is a bit pathetic. Better for adults, young and old, to focus on a proper debate.